right, folks. Um, we had a situation. We, we got to the bridge, and I had everything set up to where how I wanted to show everybody how we go about catching bait when the tide is ripping at the skyway. There's a particular thing that I like to do when the tide's either ripping in or out at the skyway. And we got everything set up. We got the boat set up exactly where I wanted to get it. And we started filming, got everything on camera. Everything went well through four times, loaded the live well with bait, loaded the bucket with bait, so we were good to go. We fished during the day, caught some fish, every, moved around, went a little bit near shore, came back in, got to the office, getting off the boat, and come to realize one of my cameras is gone. And I'm like, please don't let it be the camera that I particularly was talking to and discussing what we do exactly at the Skyway. Guess what? Unfortunately, it was the camera that I did that with. But the fortunate part is, is that I do have some of the shots of where Chad was chumming against the piling. And it illustrates exactly what I wanted to talk about. So at least I have this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about how we set up at the skyway so particularly particularly what we do that's an easy word for me to say is that um, when the tides especially ripping out this time of year I'll anchor up just outside I'm having trouble hearing you just outside <laughs> everything's going wrong just outside of the stall and what I'll do is I'll allow the boat to come in and we get set up on anchor to where the back of the boat the back of the boat is right on the 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 mark or not the marker but the the piling so i'm about mid section of the boat is on the last piling and you'll see that we have some bumpers set out and you'll see here where chad is actually chumming right against the piling and what's happening is is it's creating an eddy and what it's doing is it's sucking that bait fit or that chum down into the water column and slowly spreading it out towards the other portion of the bridge. So it allows, what it's doing is it's allowing that chum to go down slower instead of being out where the stalls are and throwing it out there and that, that chum racing to get by. So it makes it much more difficult to get the bait fish chummed up the way you want. So Doing this particular method, getting in between both the piers at the Skyway and utilizing that piling with that eddy and dropping the chum right on the edge, just like Chad is right here, what it does is it sucks that, sucks that chum down and then it pushes it out ever so slowly. So then I can throw the net and the net will slowly sink instead of racing uh, when you throw it outside of where the stalls are if you threw it out there it takes off but if you do it like this with this method when you throw the net the net actually will slowly sink down but the bait fish will stack up where the chum is so it makes it much more easier on a really hard tide especially outgoing tide this time of year it makes it much easier to catch bait now with that being said you have to have a little bit of um, gut, let's just put it guts, to be able to go in there and set up your boat like this. Now, as you see, we do have the buoy. We have two different buoys on the side of the boat because it's Brian's boat. Thankfully, he entrusted me enough to get the boat set up properly. And it can be a little, a little puckering when you get in there. But if you do know and do understand how that tide's running through that bridge, you can get that boat set up almost perfectly just like we did in this situation where Chad did have to, he didn't have to keep us off the piling because we had the bumpers, but he likes to push off so it allows me to throw the net where I want to get it. So anyway, unfortunately I didn't have the portion of when I was throwing the net in this video. I wanted to do that and I wanted to illustrate it, but I just wanted to go over how we catch bait on a very strong outgoing or incoming tide at the skyway during this time of year so if if you have some bumpers to be able to protect your boat um, and, and go in there and get set up I highly recommend doing this type of situation because it does allow you to catch bait much much faster I can't tell you how many times I've gone to the bridge 
seen a ton of boats out on the outer perimeter where the stalls are and they've been there since we've gotten there way before we've gotten there we pull up we anchor up we get everything situated we start chumming the bait comes right up into that that uh eddy we throw the net once or twice and we're done and we're back out and people are looking at us like how did they just get in there that fast and come out that fast so that is a particular particular way that we like to go and catch bait on the strong tides at the skyway pier now let's get back into the fishing and hopefully you enjoy the rest of this video chad what do you got a grupa grupa What'd you get him on, Chad? Got him on a bear hook and a pinfish. <laughs> Good job. Chad literally threw that bait in, and within seconds, it was a fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Probably after Brian's. Start recording. Oh. Come on, Brian. You were doing so good this morning. <laughs> oh! Why are you sore lipping them off? Oh, that one just come unbuttoned. Son of a biscuit eater! <laughs> well, we, we've come out to this spot. We came back in the bay. We started a little bit offshore at the three mile reef. We got a keeper snapper out there and then we caught a uh, keeper sheep, nice sheep's head, up at the one mile reef. And I said, well, let's go inside and see what we can do. And so there's this one particular spot that I have in about 15 feet of water. And Chad, we pulled up and Chad's like looking at it, looking at the machine going, okay, I see these couple little tiny rocks, but that's about it. And I said, I'm not quite sure what it is about this particular spot, but I always seem to catch fish here. There are some individual little rocks all around in here, but not, not like stationed up. They're just scattered. And um, so we're just free line and we're using slackers and, and he's using just a regular uh, six hot hook. And um, we've been catching grouper and they've been spitting up some chumbers, which is cut bait. So we know they're eating cut bait. They've come to the surface a couple times and rolled on some baits. So we've we've missed a bunch. We've caught a bunch. Got a gag on the baby pole. Hey, I can't catch fish. <laughs> it's a shocker. Hit it on the way down again. Hit it on the way down. Well, folks, it was a it was a day on the water. Let's say that we uh, we actually went near shore for a little bit, and uh, we went to see if we could find some near shore stuff. We caught a keeper snapper, keeper sheep's head. Uh, we went to the we went to the bridge to catch bait, and I had it all set up. I was I was explaining how we go about catching bait at the Skyway when the tide is ripping. And I had it on two GoPros, and unfortunately, one of the GoPros was no longer in the boat when we got back. <laughs> we, you want to reenact it? Well, at least at least I have the the part where um, where 
you were throwing the chum next to the piling. Okay, so, so we have that. This. You just need to get the net and right. just throw it on the right. dock. Right, okay. so not even that. I mean, people see me throw the net enough, but they get a better explanation of what I, what I was going to do. And I'll get into that in the video, talking about what we were doing, how we were set up, and why we were set up that way at the Skyway to catch bait. Through four times we were done. Uh, so it's a, it can be a hair raising type of deal when you're doing it. If you're not used to doing it, 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 I've been doing it for a long time, setting up between both the piers, but we'll get into an explanation of that during the video. We just want to say thank you very much for watching. Uh, there was a lot of stuff that I wanted to put into this video, but the most of the stuff that I talked about is somewhere in the bottom of Tampa Bay. Rookie mistake. Shut up, Chad. <laughs> so anyway, I will figure out something to do with this video. Uh, I just want to say thank you again for all the support. Again, we do have that boat show coming up January 20th through the 23rd over in St. Pete, the St. Pete uh, slash Tampa boat show. We will be there with Sunray, so come by and see us. Again, thank you for all the support. Thanks for watching. Fish more, catch more, and we'll see you on the flip side. Say bye, Chad. Bye, y'all. Bye, Brian. Oh, bro oh. Before I forget, I'm sorry, Brian. And I got a lot of the fish that you caught, I think. I look back through the footage and, and a lot of the a lot of the fish that you caught was were, were there. So Brian actually had a good start to today. We that was one of the best fishing days he's had with us, <laughs> except for the banana man suit days. Yeah. I hate to, I hate to admit it. What? Just how bad that he sucked today. <laughs> the yeah. Hey. yeah, one fish a piece. Hey, I, as I said on the boat, I don't care if I was catching trash fish. I'm taking the win today. <laughs> taking the W. That's. We're gonna have a lot of sunrises and sunsets. It's, it's, on this video, <laughs> 2022. It's a new man. I'm, I'm, I'm catching fish this year. Whatever, Nander man. Whatever. Fine. Go away. All right. So. Nanner man had his day. It was about time. Poor guy struggled and struggled and struggled, but we made it happen. It was fun. It's always fun. It was a it, it was a bit rough today, as I predicted. It was it was it was a bit choppy, but we got it done. I mean, we caught some fish. We had fun. Uh, went to some new areas, which we've never. I've been there once, but they hadn't been there, so that was kind of neat. I think there's a lot of fish there. It just got so rough, and. Uh, and uh, so we uh, we expanded our expended our trolling motor batteries relatively pretty quickly. But anyway, again, thank you for the support. Thank you for watching. Fish more, catch more, and we will see you on the flip side.